Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to do a mail time video and it's going to be a little bit different than normal. I'm actually manning the camera so I have no idea how this is going to turn out. Aaron is working on the grass. I can hear him. I don't see him back there. Anyway, we've had a lot of stuff show up in the last few weeks and I've been really wanting to do this video just to let you know that we've received all of your sweet gifts for Benjamin and we are so, so thankful. So this isn't going to be very much gardening stuff. It's going to be a lot more baby stuff. So for those of you who are here for gardening stuff, you have been warned that this is mostly baby stuff, but it's cute stuff, so you should stick around and watch the video anyway. So first thing I'm gonna do is run and gather up all of the packages. I've got a few in the kitchen and in our pantry, and I think I'm gonna do this video up in the sun porch. We'll see how it looks up there. There he is, fertilizing away. It's music to my ears, the grass sorely needs it. So Benjamin is with his cousins today. That's why we're trying to get through some projects. I wanted to get these boxes open, and Aaron wanted to get the grass taken care of. So we're hurrying, trying to get as much as we can done when he's not here. It makes me laugh now to think of how I thought before I had a baby. Like I thought I was gonna have all kinds of time, like it wasn't gonna be a huge deal to have a newborn in the house. Uh, it's so different from how I used to think. Let me show you this huge pile of gifts. You guys, Benjamin does not even know how lucky he has it. I do, I know how lucky I am. You guys are like the best people ever. Okay, so let's start in. So it keeps getting light, dark, light, dark in here because it's super blue, bright blue skies with big clouds today. Um, so it, you know, the lighting might be a little off, but it's so nice out here today. I really wanted to take advantage of the warmth and the sunshine. So this first one is from Carol in Oklahoma. Candy, Carol of Care by Design, a faithful follower of Garden Answer and a loving grandmother of four. Ooh. Oh, it smells like lavender. So this is a baby positioning rice pillow set um, that has, I think, lavender, lavender and orange infused in it. And so you just warm them up in the microwave just until they're just barely warm. And then you can use these to help position baby in the crib. That is such a neat idea. I have never seen something like that. And super cute, super cute fabric. Oh, and a super cute blanket. Thank you, Carol. I'm supposed to be watching what I'm eating. Maybe wait. Oh, this tastes so good. Mm. From babyshoe.com, they're keepsake baby shoes. Take the lid off. That is super special. Thank you. Whoops. Baby shoes down. This is from Val in Winnipeg, Canada. Oh my word. Whoa. Snow from winter aka Winnipeg, a handmade, look at this intricate paper ornament. Whoa, I don't even know how one makes something so small and intricate, really cool. Thanks Val, I already opened this one it looks like. This is from Cheryl in Tennessee. Oh, I remember opening this, so cute and soft. Look at the raccoon. Oh, okay, so these must be the pants that go with it. Mm, so cute and look at the feet oh I love that oh infant ankle ankle socks which I'm actually in need of them I was just telling Aaron I needed more of these because if you guys follow me on Instagram you might have seen the picture of Benjamin that I posted I couldn't find two of the same socks so I just put two different ones on you just do what you got to do oh I just love the soft Soft stuff. Mm. This is from Patton, Michigan, and it's addressed to Russell. Oh, who just ran out of here. Russell, kitty, kitty. Come here, kitty, 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 kitty. Dear Russell, I noticed that your new brother received a lot of presents in the mail. I grow and dry my own catnip and have been making cats happy for over 40 years. I hope you enjoy these. They are quite potent. Some cats don't react to the nip, so let's hope you do. Pat the catnip pusher. P.S. Nice cat tree your mom made for you. Pat, that is so sweet. Look at how cute, they're like little mice. I'm gonna go find him, he's not far. Russell, I see you, come here. Oh, what is that? Do you love it? Do you love it? You can hear your dad on the lawnmower. Whoa. Pat, we have a winner. <laughs> I have more of those where that came from, buddy. Uh oh, ow, hey, ouch. 
Well, it's safe to say that Russell loves the catnip. Aaron's out fertilizing the grass like I showed you, and he's doing the lawn right outside the sun port, so it's kind of loud now. From Kathy in North Carolina. Woo! Oh. And he better love gardening. This one is from Kim for Russell. Russell, kitty kitty. Oh boy, creator of the cuddler, catnip toys on Etsy. That is really cute. So you unzip, you can take out the two pouches of catnip which are inside and then you can wash it. He's gonna love this. Obviously he loves the catnip. I <laughs> think you saw earlier. Thanks for sending that. This is from Jaden in Ohio. Oh, I did open this earlier and oh my gosh, you guys are gonna die. This is so <laughs> cute. Okay, so first of all, look at the hat. Is that not the cutest thing ever? And the bottom, this is for pictures, you guys. Ooh, it got bright really quick. I hope you can see this okay. Yeah, this is probably why Aaron tells me that I can't have sun and shade in the same shot. Oh well. Look at how cute that is for a baby for pictures. And there's a second one. So this is the bottom that you can imagine where this is going. And I'm going to be using this here in the next like near future. Look at, look at the hat with the bunny ears. Jaden, these are amazing. You did a wonderful job. I'm so excited to get him in these and take some pictures. This is from Sunburst Alpacas. Sherry uh, from Ohio. You guys, isn't that so cute? This is a pen with a little alpaca on top. My mom's gonna want this. I'm gonna have to hide it from her. She is a big, like big into fiber. She spins wool um, into yarn and we're both knitters. We both love to knit. So this is like totally up our alley. Oh my word. Oh my word. Look at this sweater. That is so intense. It's got a garden on it. A house, a garden, sunshine. There's some birds. On the back there's a cloud and more flowers. Oh this is so cute. Thank you Sherry. Oh I can't wait till he's big enough to wear this. It won't be long. He's growing like a weed already. This one is from California from Arloa, and I hope I'm saying your name properly. There's a whole bunch of goodies in this box. Isn't that sweet? So this is six to nine months, so he'll be wearing this in the summer into early fall, which is perfect. Along with cute pants. Oh, cute. I love it when you guys pick out clothes for him because you guys do such a good job. And I don't have to like do anything. It's crazy. Look at that. He can still wear this right now. The boo-boo bunny. If a boo-boo has you feeling crummy, stick an ice cube in my tummy. Hold it to your boo-boo tight. Soon everything will be all right. So cute. You put an ice cube in the tummy. Look at that. Oh, and the hat was knitted with love from her daughter, Brooke. Silk and cashmere yarn. Wow. Thanks, Brooke, so much. From Deutschland. I wonder what is in here. Oh, these are so cute. You guys, these are called growies. They're uh, tools for little ones. How perfect is that? And I guess they're fairly new on the market as well. Look at that. A fork, a shovel, and a planter. How cute. I love to have these for Benjamin. And you guys, if I can find these online, I'll link them down below. From Hong Kong, from Josephine and Jimmy. Oh, that's so sweet. It's a towel collection. There's a kitty and a rose garden in a flower pot and a home. That's really sweet. Thank you so much. All the way from Hong Kong. Okay, so I did open this box, obviously. You can see that. And I absolutely adore this blanket that Janelle sent from Colorado. Look at that. It's full of foxes. Let me turn it right side up here. Isn't that so special? And the back is just like the most soft. Oh, I'm probably getting that all over my mic. Benjamin is going to love this and it goes perfectly with the theme of the nursery. Thank you. Now this one came from Jennifer in Hawaii. This is a Hawaiian ocean lullaby and rockabye baby in Hawaii. Two little books for Benjamin. And then I haven't looked in here yet. This she said is a pillow that she found and thought of me. Oh, of course, it's an Echeveria. Oh, I love it. I actually think it would go on this chaise out in the sun porch really nicely. Thanks, Jennifer, so much. Better close this before I sit on it. That would be bad. Oh, okay. So this book right here, who done it? <laughs> I put it in this pile because this came from Dr. Lindsay Norman, who I worked for for five and a half years at 
um, like right after high school and through a couple of my college years. Um, and I, I loved it. I loved working with her and the people that were there. And this is really sweet. <laughs> Who forgot the swimsuit? Uh, apparently this one. I think Benjamin's gonna love this. Thanks so much, Lindsay and Cliff. This came from Darlene in Utah. This is called a giving bear. Love the colors of this bear. Oh, and let me just hold that right there. If you wanna pause the video and read that poem, it's really sweet. Thank you, Darlene. Benjamin is going to love this. I have one more Hershey Kiss with an almond in it. I must eat it, I'm calling my name. This little tote or crate Okay, so first of all, presentation is super cute. Little chalkboard ends. These are washcloth burp rags. Now this is from the Espoma company. So you guys know that we work a lot with Espoma. In fact, that's what Aaron is outside fertilizing the grass with Espoma lawn food, which I've used for years. And they sent over this super sweet package. So washcloth burp rags and with little carrots on it. This is, oh, this is like a little teething ring toy. It has the little crinkly ears. Oh my goodness. So cute. I love the colors of that one too. Nothing like a onesie on a baby, right? So, so sweet. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at those. Little net booties. Espoma, thank you so much for sending this stuff out. So sweet of you guys. Homemade gifts for your new additions. Benjamin and Russell love Patty and Terry. I think I might have stuck these cute box things in to on the top of this box. I'm not sure if it's from the same people. Anyway, let me know in the comment section, but these are super cute. Either way, these are gonna be awesome. Ah, so cute. I'm gonna have to get these things on him before he grows up. Okay, so the cactus and pot is a diaper case. So let me see what we got here. Let me pull it all out. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so there's a little cactus teether. Let me get it out of here, show you. Isn't that perfect? So this is a diaper cake, you guys. There are diapers in here. And it's even got little toothpick uh, spines and a little pot. Oh, so cute. And the little sign says Benjamin David Louboutier, 1-12-2018 uh, at 8.03 a.m. I'm gonna have to take really good pictures of this one. Oh, that is so sweet and special. Mm. Nope, this is the one for Russell. He'll definitely like that. It's funny, we can hear he loves stuff like this. We can hear him playing in the night. It'll be like three in the morning and I'll just have gotten Benjamin back down after eating and I'll hear like a big bunch of thudding upstairs on the floor and it's Russell with one of his toys like this and he's throwing it up in the air, rolling around. He loves it. Oh my goodness. So this is really cute. This looks like a potted something. Is it like potted cacti as well? I don't know, but the um, fabric is so adorable. Look at the fabric, cactus. And this one is bears, foxes, not bears. What am I thinking? And these are receiving blankets. And let me see if I can take one apart here. A little hat, little mittens, keep their hands, fingernails off their face. Burp rag, we use a lot of those. A little cute bib, baby size bib. And a blanket, oh my word. Patty and Terry, thank you so much for such a sweet and elaborate gift. This is just too much, I love it. So that's it for today's mail time, you guys. I just can't even believe how wonderful you all are sending these super sweet gifts. I don't think Benjamin and Russell realize how lucky they are. Uh, one day, one day Benjamin will. You know, we'll show him all of these uh, videos and he'll probably have a lot of these things as keepsakes um, moving forward. Um, so one day he'll realize just how lucky he is to have you guys in his life. And um, I just really am thankful too for all of the support you've given us and encouragement. It's kind of a weird time, a little bit. I don't know about you guys, when you had kids, if you, if you had kids, um, it kind of throws your life into a little bit of a, a weird, it's not a funk, it's just a weird adjustment phase. Especially Aaron and I had been married for 11 years. We had, um, you know, both worked full time the whole, the whole time. Um, and then, you know, starting Garden Answer and starting this new adventure in our life and working hard and working a lot to make videos and do projects and keep up our, our landscape. And we traveled quite a bit. Um, so I don't know, it was just kind of weird just to have everything come to a screeching halt and then all of a sudden we have this new little life um, that we're responsible for. It's an adjustment. I mean, it's absolutely wonderful and I totally understand now why um, people say, you know, once you start having kids, you, 
I don't know, you'll want more, or it's just wonderful. It's different when you have your own kids. And I never quite understood that statement. And now I do, um, because it absolutely is different when it's your own. It's just the most special time in my life so far. So anyway, I just appreciate all of the stuff you guys, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.